Tuka and Bertie. Irreverent to non-relevant, relatable issues. The lead characters of Netflix's latest animated series Tuka and Bertie may be anthropomorphized avian creatures, but the issues that concern them aren't strictly for the birds. The problems they face some are serious. Many of them silly are situations a good number of young adults will find relatable. Tuka, voiced by the hilarious Tiffany Haddish, allowed Miss Tukan, and Bertie, Ari Wong, a Phoenix Song Crush, have been best friends and roommates for years. Stutters, Reckless and the Prudent are suddenly separated by Bertie's decision to have her architect boyfriend, a rather named Speckle, Stephen Ian, move in with her. It quickly becomes clear that managing their daily activities in Bird City without each other will take some getting used to. The 10, Python episode series, which starts streaming today, follows how 30, Python year old Susan navigates the urban jungle after she moves out of their apartment and forges her own path as a happily unattached single female. Making these episodes livelier, Senior and phonetically more potent are exciting guest stars to include the exceptional likes of Jane Lynch, Isabella Rossellini, comedian Ethelfina and Laban Cross, Orange is the New Black, the first openly transgender performer to be nominated for a Primatine Emmy. While Aimless Tuka shuttles from Lunaf Jaku, another, Bertie is thinking of expanding and diversifying from her humdrum career as a data processor at Condness to a more fulfilling career on the side as a baker. As diligent as she is hardworking, Bertie is good at what she does unfortunately, she is for the most part underappreciated at work. To convince her boss that she deserves to be promoted after three years of working like crazy, she has to endure a lot of irritants in the workplace, not the least of which are opportunists and show-offs like Dirk the Rooster, who keeps taking credit for Bertie's brilliant ideas. But Tuka comes to Bertie's rescue when she sees her less than assertive best friend being taken advantage of. Aside from the user-friendly character's unethical behavior, Bertie has to learn how to protect herself from sexism and her supervisor's inappropriate behavior. Tuka may be loud and uncouth but, more than anything, her bark is worse than her bite. She's what you would call hard on the outside and soft on the inside. In episode 8, for instance, when Tuka finds herself inexplicably entangled with a cult-like organization, she even saves the asinine dirt rooster from getting burned at the stake. Their friendship isn't a one-way thing, however. In episode 3, when Tuka goes out on a date with the Simeon Deli guy she's long had a crush on, Bertie shows her BFF some love and support when the budding romance unexpectedly goes if you think the show relies solely on its actors' comedic irreverence and timing by ignoring character development, you've got another thing coming. In the penultimate episode of season 1, we get wind of a traumatic swimming incident from Bertie's past that has turned her into the indecisive and insecure bird woman she is. There are more satisfying dramatic moments in Tuka and Bertie's thematically significant series finale. This time, Bertie helps Tuka come to grips with a deeply concealed family problem that explains why the latter has deemed it necessary to always look and sound tougher than she actually is. But that's what genuine friends, do they always see through our nature's impulses, fears and insecurities. They know that, sometimes, a broken buddy's bravado is just another call for help. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.